Hello, welcome to my next tutorial today on how to create Google Cloud Proxies on uh, createproxy.com. First thing you will need is an account on createproxy.com. Uh, if you don't have an account on createproxy.com, click on the login button and then on the sign up button and fill up a uh, registration form. As you are done, you can click on sign up and you will receive activation email with uh, your new username. Uh, once you have that, uh, insert your username and the password and then click on sign in. So now you can see your uh, create proxy manager dashboard, how many live servers you have, how many providers account you have, and how many API calls you made. To create a new uh, Google Cloud uh, provider account, you have to click on My Accounts. And in My Account section, you have to click on Google Cloud. I wrote here some tutorial, how to do everything uh, step by step. Uh, basically, the first step is uh, select project and create service account. Uh, to do this, you can click just here on this link. Google asking you to uh, select a project. So if you want to use an existing project and just select, uh, I'm just going to create a new one. Uh, insert name, I'm fine with this name. And then click on uh, create. Okay, so this is uh, this is my service accounts for this project. There is no any at the moment, so click on create service account and insert uh, name you want. So just go insert tutorial and then click on create. Now this is important. You have to select the roles. Um, all the roles are specified right here. So the first one is going to be a uh, compute engine and compute admin. Then click on add another role and select service account, service account user. And click on add another rules one again. Resource manager project I am admin. Project I'm admin. Okay. Once you are done, click on continue. Now click on create K. Make sure you search JSON and click on create. This will download a configuration file into your computer. I can now close this. Uh, and go to step number two. So where we uh, upload uh, just the one that configuration file. And click on upload Google Cloud JSON file. Step number three is enabling GAPI, so you have to enable or make sure it's enabled all these three APIs. So select the first one. Always make sure selected project right here is uh, the project you just create or or you want to use with uh, Query Proxy. Uh, this app is already enabled, so so I can just close it. If you go find here enable button, then click on it close. Uh, now we have to enable Cloud Resource Manager API. So click on enable. 
and close and now we have to enable our computer in China too. Last step uh, is update uh, firewall rules for a selected profile. So what we have to do is we have to go to VPC network firewall rules. Still have not enable, uh, enabled uh, Compute Engine, it's still, still uh, not ready, so we have to wait. Okay, now Compute Engine app is uh, installed, enabled, so we can uh, we can uh, create a new 5 rule. Just click on the Create 5 rule button and uh, insert name. Uh, here um, in a target section, click on all instances in the network and in source IP ranges insert 0 0.0.0.0 slash 0. And now uh, check uh, allow all, and that's it. So we'll just click on create. This will create a new firewall rule. Okay, that's it. We have uh, all all steps uh, complete. Uh, now we can start creating proxies with this account. So you can go to to Google Cloud and. Uh, as you see, you can select uh, Google Cloud profile. Uh, you can insert, you, you can create uh, more profiles, and then you can select the profile you want to create proxies with. Uh, when you are creating proxies, you can select a data center where you want your proxies to be loca located. Uh, also, you can select the uh, instance. Uh, if you want uh, something uh, something with better hardware, uh, I'm just fine with the with the cheapest hardware. Uh, now you select how many proxies you want to create. Uh, just uh, uh, make sure that uh, if you want to create like 200 proxies uh, with uh, one uh, profile, then you have to contact uh, Google. Uh, Google Cloud to increase your uh, instance quota. So, because uh, defaultly you have probably around 10, uh, 10 uh, instances, so you can create around 10 instances. Uh, the last uh, step is uh, security of these uh, proxy servers. Uh, you can s you can select the uh, username and password. Uh, this means that these proxies will be secured by username and password. If you don't want to secure your proxies with username and password, you can select also uh, user, uh, authorization by by IP. So you're just gonna select uh, IPs you want to to be able to uh, to connect to these proxies. I'm just fine with default uh, username and password. Uh, also, you can select port. Uh, you can basically set uh, something between. Uh, between 500 and 9000 uh, I'm fine with the default value uh, 3128 and now we have to click just on create Google Cloud Proxies this will basically install all, at all, all, all 8 servers and uh, install on them uh, necessary uh, software so they will wor work as uh, proxies Okay, uh, around like two minutes, uh, all the proxies are uh, uh, installed, so we can start using them. As you see, you have uh, a new IP, 
for each of them you have a port you select uh, you have username and password this is all the same for all the proxies for your account and uh, that's basically it if you don't need these proxies anymore you can just go over to my account and click on uh, this button delete all proxies this will basically delete all the proxies for this uh, profile if you want uh, to create uh, if you want to do this step um, I mean uh, creating uh, a number of proxies uh, somewhere uh, with uh, whatever your Google Cloud profile you can also use uh, our API uh, here you can find API Google Cloud so basically if you call this API right here uh, you this will create you uh, 10 proxies just replace APK with uh, your APK from my profile here you find your APK so just insert re replace uh, your APK with uh, your value and also select uh, profile ID with uh, with uh, profile ID which is right here um, you can also select uh, if you're calling API uh, to create the Google Cloud proxies you can also uh, insert your whatever username and password you want and also you can uh, insert uh, ping so so uh, this uh, URL uh, you insert uh, will be executed after all these proxies will be installed so you can like uh, uh, call another API uh, for example get full proxy list so this will give you basically all this uh, all this uh, all these IPs I already delete my proxies so so there is nothing um, you can also delete the proxies with uh, with uh, with just uh, API call. Uh, just uh, find uh, delete all proxy servers method. This will delete all the proxies from all providers. Uh, if you want to delete only proxies for uh, one provider uh, one one profile, then then you can use uh, this method delete all proxy servers by profile ID. And that's it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.